two, one. So, good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for being here. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this uh, webinar on, on the technical program and to give you some tips on how to prepare and how to submit your abstract for the upcoming ISC uh, 2024 that will be held in Milan in next October this year. So it is uh, really a pleasure. Uh, let me just introduce myself. My name is Alfonso Pagani. I'm a professor of aerospace engineering at Politecnico di Torino, Italy, and a proud member of the Italian Association of Aeronautics and Astronautics, AIDA, that is hosting uh, ISC in, in 2024, together with uh, the Italian Space Agency and, and Leonardo, as you can see from, from our slide. Um, for IAF, uh, here I represent the IPC, acting as IPC co-chair, together with, uh, with my colleague, Dr. Henny Endemar. And um, also, we have two important uh, guests, two uh, important representatives of technical committees, Dr. Ana Maria Nassisi from Thales Selenia Space and Professor Giovanni Palmerini from La Sapienza University of Rome. And they will give their perspective on how to submit abstract and give you some tips from people that actually uh, review abstracts uh, and select the abstracts for the technical program. So thank you very much for being here. Um, well, our agenda is quite full. The webinar will be uh, lasting one hour. Uh, we will try to get the webinar quite interactive. So if you have any questions uh, during the webinar, feel free uh, to write uh, your questions in the chat. Uh, anyway, the webinar will be available uh, later on, so it is registered. And in case you have uh, any question, uh, you can count on our support mailbox uh, that I will give you uh, some details later on. But before I go to the agenda, I would like uh, Dr. Andy and uh, to, to give a welcome uh, to you all. Thank you so much, Alfonso. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. My name is Dr. Annie Hanma. Um, I'm an honorary associate at the University of Sydney in Australia. And um, it's my pleasure to act as the IPC co-chair for IAC Milan 2024, and then also for IAC 2025, which will be in Sydney. But the focus tonight is very much IAC 2024 Milan. And I'm very grateful to everybody who is online and watching this evening, um, or if you're watching later, to understand how to get involved and get some tips on the best way to maximize your chances of success and other ways to engage with IAC 2024, which I think will be absolutely fantastic. So I'll hand back to you, Alfonso. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, it will be fantastic, I'm, I'm pretty sure. And this is the agenda of, of um, our webinar today. So we will be just giving uh, some reasons for you to submit an abstract for the next IC. Uh, we will give some insight and tips from IPC members. In particular, we have representatives from two of the most um, successful and also two of the most uh, important committees from, from our perspective. Indeed, as you know, um, um, IC Milan has a motto, which is really about space sustainability and uh, earth observation and astrodynamics are two hot topics in, in, in space uh, sustainability indeed. Then we will have a look at the structure of uh, the technical program as you know, technical program is not just about technical sessions, but it's a quite rich program. Uh, then we will give you some uh, useful uh, info about the different formats we propose for the ISC, mainly oral and interactive presentations. And finally, uh, we will discuss a few guidelines for writing successful abstract and uh, ending with technicalities, so deadlines, uh, and, and practical information for you all to attend and also uh, be an actor in, in the next ISC.
So top reasons for submitting an abstract for IC 2024. So you know that uh, Milan is coming after a very successful IEC uh, in Paris and, 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 and then in Baku. And also we wish to, to, to accompany somehow also the next IEC in Sydney that will be successful as well. And uh, talking about Milano, Milano is, is uh, of course a very uh, beautiful city. That's a very important uh, reason, in my opinion, to attend. It's it's very well connected, safe city. Uh, we have uh, fast transportation to all the cities, important cities in Italy, including Venice, Florence, Turin, and Rome. And it's really rich of space industry and space culture. So we are organizing wonderful trips, not only for a company, but also for uh, technicians, for so to visit uh, our facilities uh, in Leonardo, in Tales, Salenia, space, uh, and so on. Most important, we really believe that IC Milan will be a very uh, successful edition, and we are trying, so we are quite confident to, to, to reach uh, 10,000 attendees or more. So uh, in October 2024, we really believe that in Milan, we will host the entire space community. So we will have thousands of international peers from 90, more than 90 countries uh, of the world. So if you plan to discuss your research in, in, a, in, a, in a quite global stage, IC 2024 will be the stage for you. And uh, of course, uh, you will gain visibility, but for the first year in Milan, uh, this is an important news for you all to know. Well, for the first uh, time, we will have DOI, so digital object identifiers for each abstract for each paper of the Congress. Uh, as you know, uh, these are permanent identifiers objects uh, that will improve the impact of your research. And we really believe that this will be pushing uh, more and more people to submit abstract and papers for IC 2024. Then we have uh, diverse uh, presentation opportunities. As you know, the technical program is really um, uh, making sure that all the papers submitted to IC are really equally important. You know that we have oral, which are kind of classical presentations we'll discuss later on, and also interactive presentations that are gaining a lot of success in the latest years at the ISC. <clears throat> Both oral and interactive presentations, they are accompanied by full papers, and all the papers will have a DOA code, and all the papers will have opportunity to be published in ACTA Astronautica. Last but not least, space for all. We have, as you will see, we have a great variety of abstract topics. We range from all the topics the space can cover, from technology to uh, society. And we will see this. Indeed, we will discuss very briefly later on our five categories. But before discussing the categories, it is my pleasure and honor to welcome Dr. Anna Maria Sisi and Professor Giovanni Palmerini uh, that um, uh, agreed to, to attend and, and give their tips uh, during this webinar. Thank you very much. Uh, Dr. Anna Maria Sisi, she is manager for space economy observation and navigation at Thales Salini Space Italy. And she is a, a, a member of the Earth Observation Committee for the IF and also a member of the Global Earth Observation System of Systems, GEOS, subcommittee. She has uh, a, a large experience on selecting abstract for the, for the of course, for the, for the ISC, attending the committee uh, for, for many years now. And of course, she has a, a, a wide industrial experience working for, for Thales for so many years. On the other side, we have Professor Giovanni Palmerini, he is president of the Aerospace Engineering School at Sapienza University of Rome and also 
he has a long experience in astrodynamics committee for the IF and also he has a, a, a quite important role for the space communications and navigation committee, the SCAN for the IF as well. So it's my really honor to give Dr. Ana Maria the floor and discuss uh, with us uh, the technical committee he belongs to. Thank you, Ana Maria. Thank you very much, uh, Alfonso, and uh, good morning to all. Uh, we'll introduce, uh, first of all, uh, the Airflow, which is uh, the goal of the Airflow Observation Committee uh, that uh, uh, will uh, analyze uh, all of the aspects uh, for the promotion and uh, development of the Airflow Observation uh, in the different fields uh, like science, uh, technology, application, uh, research, commerce, and uh, also the policy for a benefit uh, of a society. Uh, as said by Alfonso, I'm a part also of the Global Air Observation System of System uh, Subcommittee. It is uh, very important to promote uh, the cooperation uh, mainly uh, lead by changing uh, climate, uh, its impact on bio and application for sustainable uh, development. Uh, what uh, we do for uh, the ISC Congress, uh, uh, we are involved in B1 Symposium, uh, that, uh, which encompass the value phase of air observation from space uh, with uh, particular focus uh, on the Earth environment uh, that include uh, the, the mission planning, the different payload uh, like microwave and optical, uh, the different technology on uh, space and on ground relevant to the um, different application uh, like land, oceanography, atmospheric, and so on. Uh, this symposium uh, is uh, organized uh, in seven uh, classical sessions uh, covering uh, uh, a very large uh, activity uh, relevant to uh, international cooperation and the business venture in air observation the air observation system overall that is very important including uh, space and ground air observation sensors and the technology this is more devoted to the space uh, uh, component the air observation data system and the technology that is uh, very important, uh, uh, taking into account uh, the evolution of air observation system. And uh, another aspect uh, that is uh, uh, at the same level uh, very important uh, are the benefit for the society and uh, uh, economy, uh, and which are the challenge and benefit. And uh, it, uh, the other aspect uh, is relevant uh, to the um, assessing and mitigation of the global freshwater crisis. This is a new element that we have introduced for this ASC, together with the earth observation to address earth environment and climate changes that are uh, strictly related to the earth uh, sustainability uh, element. Next one. Additionally, Alfonso, next one slide. Uh, yes, you should see this. Okay. Uh, the additional uh, to the seven uh, class classical session, uh, there is, uh, as mentioned, uh, one uh, interactive uh, presentation. Uh, 
session and uh, this is uh, a, an important session uh, at the same level of the se uh, seven uh, session that we offer uh, opportunity to engage with a worldwide uh, audience and uh, uh, the IP session is uh, transversal because uh, it covers all topics and uh, offer a more dynamic approach with Uh, the opportunity to meet uh, a lot of people coming from a different uh, geographic area and uh, also including a multidisciplinary background that is very important in the space economy evolution. Uh, the EOIC is responsible also of uh, the paper selection in order to address uh, the papers that uh, will be uh, uh, presented uh, both in the seven uh, classical section and the P, it will depend from the committee uh, evaluation and uh, uh, will address the, the selection also for the active uh, astronautic uh, as well. Uh, this um, uh, field, uh, air from observation, is very, very important and we have a, a very high audience, people, because uh, if we take into account what has been already done in the previous uh, IAC, uh, we uh, consider that 760 abstracts uh, are being uh, submitted and more than 60% was, uh, were selected uh, for this uh, both session. So uh, there is a very good opportunity uh, for your uh, research and uh, innovation idea. Why submit an abstract to B1? There are many reasons. Uh, one of them is uh, the opportunity uh, to connect uh, with uh, a, a large space community uh, around the world that is very important to have uh, their feedback and to present what you are doing in this field. Uh, uh, and uh, is uh, also a great chance to showcase all the outstanding work being done in not topics that are very important and strictly related to the sustainability, like the climate change, but not only to take into account also commercial aspects. Uh, the technology, uh, transversal technology like uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data as we want that are very important in the evolution of our observation and uh, by taking into account the different uh, application uh, like the disaster but not only that agriculture and uh, so on. Submit, why to submit uh, an abstract? Uh, I, I think uh, it is important to highlight that it is a, a unique opportunity to collect uh, feedback on your research because you can interact with the audience in the both uh, session typology and uh, to have also the possibility to, uh, to have a publi publication in Act Astronautic. So I suggest to all to maintain the deadline already foreseen for the abstract uh, submission and uh, to engage yourself in this uh, challenge uh, symposium. Thank, Thank you, you very, Thank you very much, much to all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ana Maria, uh, for, for this uh, bright uh, discussion and, and also for the underlying that we have uh, strict deadlines. And I would like also now to, to, to welcome Professor Pamerini. Good morning, everybody from Rome. Thanks. Thanks, Alfonso.
Good morning. And um, as Alfonso kindly recalled, I'm here as a member of the Astrodynamics Committee and about the Space Communication and Navigation Committee. I would like to give you some uh, remarks about uh, this, uh, uh, these two committees and the symposia these committees manage in the frame of uh, IAF and IAC in Milan and uh, since many years in all the other congresses. As far as it concerns astrodynamics, which uh, at large can be considered as the study of the motion of uh, uh, bodies in space, uh, so a clearly a key aspect uh, in any space mission, we can, uh, uh, let's say, say that uh, the symposium in itself uh, is quite popular for sure and is divided in several topics, uh, accommodating uh, all the basic uh, uh, fields of astrodynamics. So we will have attitude dynamics, orbital dynamics, guidance, navigation and control, and uh, mission design, optimization and operations. As a choice of our committees, uh, the papers that will be accepted for IEC in Milan will be uh, given uh, the chance to have a good oral presentation, rich in details, and it comes up that uh, due to this fact, uh, there could be a, a certain choice among the abstracts because we have a lot of submission usually, but the, uh, let's say the spots in the oral sessions are in some way, uh, let's say limited as I reported in the slides. But uh, I, I would like, uh, I strongly like to, to um, let's say, uh, promote the fact that we have also the interactive session, which is increasingly popular and uh, provides the authors to have uh, the same uh, rights, the same exposure of uh, full papers, because they will have to produce a full paper and they will also compete for a special prize. So if we put together the slots in the uh, oral sessions and the slots in the interactive session, Astrodynamics will be, uh, uh, let's say, a place to present your uh, studies and your results in a very international and open venture. And in fact, what I would like to, uh, let's say, remark about Astrodynamics is the fact that uh, this uh, chance to present our, our own works and your own work in a, a full international uh, meeting is really important because we will have the chance to have feedback from uh, uh, very well-known colleagues. You will have the chance to improve your knowledge, which is basically uh, the real result of any international uh, uh, congress and you will have the chance to improve your future career in astronautics. If we can go, Alfonso, kindly to the other slides, I would like also to add something about the other committee I'm a member of, the Space Communication and Navigation Committee, in short, SCAN. The SCAN manages the B2 Symposium, which is also quite popular, and is divided in several fields, encompassing the areas of communication at large. So uh, communication in deep space, communication to Earth's orbits, satellites, communication among spacecraft with a session devoted to uh, the new techniques like uh, optical communication or quantum communication. And also we have uh, two sessions devoted to navigation issues, which is clearly uh, one of the most important uh, techniques nowadays. All of us, we know that GNSS is basically one of the basic infrastructure. And uh, we devote these two sessions to the improvements in navigation techniques. Also for B2, there is the interactive opportunity especially for B2, this interactive opportunity is uh, quite dynamic and offer the chance to present uh, even, uh, let's say, uh, um, sideline side topics like very new techniques that are very interesting, but still needs uh, some, uh, let's say, 
technical test. So it's a good idea to come to Milan and to all ISCs, of course, and to uh, present to some uh, uh, well-known expert their own results, our own results, and uh, enjoy the feedback that for sure will result from this presentation. For all of this session, the two of them, either C1 and B2, I would like to recommend, and maybe we will have also the chance to, to, to remind this later, to uh, produce very well-targeted abstracts. The reason is that, as you can see from the partitioning session of this symposia, it becomes extremely important that your work will be judged by uh, the, uh, the right people. So, because most of the sessions are judged by their chairs, uh, uh, it is quite important that uh, this, chairs, uh, this chair will find in your abstract uh, the topics of the specific session uh, relevance. I guess that uh, for now we can consider it's enough. Thanks, Alfonso. See you later. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Palmerini. Very, very useful. And we will have the chance indeed to discuss it a bit more, the abstract preparation. Uh, but I want just to stress that ISC is really for all. Uh, we had the, the opportunity to discuss together with Dr. Nassisi and Professor Palmerini about some symposia of uh, category B and C, but ISC indeed is made of five different categories. And we will have the chance to select uh, one of the category and one of the technical sessions during the abstract submission. Just to give you an a, a, a idea, on, on uh, the different categories we have. Category A is about science and exploration. And it is about system sustaining missions, essentially including life, microgravity, uh, space exploration, space debris, and, and also astronomy and, and, and SETI, which is a search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Category A is made of seven different symposia, and has something like 45 technical sessions, including interactive presentation sessions. Category B, of course, we already discussed about <clears throat> at observation, for example. Category B is, is for applications and, and operations, meaning future and ongoing operational applications, including EO, communication navigation, human space endeavors, and also small satellite technologies. It is made of more than 45 technical sessions and uh, in, in six uh, different symposia. Then we have category C about technology uh, of space systems, including astrodynamics, structures, power, and propulsion, and has uh, more than 35 technical sessions into divided into four different symposia. Then we have category D, uh, which is about infrastructure. Uh, meaning systems sustaining space missions, including space system transportation, future systems, and safety. Category D includes uh, something like 40 technical sessions and six symposia. Last but not least, we have category E, which is about space and society. It's, it's growing more and more in, in the ISC, and it is about interconnection of space with society including education, policy, and economics, history, space security, law, and emerging space ecosystems. Uh, category E has 11 symposia and more than 55 technical uh, sessions. So you really can choose the appropriate topic uh, as you need. Uh, technical pro program is not just about technical sessions. So this is the main structure of the technical program. So as we said, we have uh, a total of 33 symposia. We will have uh, a total of something like 190 technical sessions, which means 22 parallel technical sessions per day during our Congress in Milan. And we have 33 symposia with IP sessions and, uh, and uh, interactive presentations will be transmitted through 
50 screens in a dedicated, very beautiful place at Miko in Milan in October. But that's not all. We have uh, special sessions. Special sessions are uh, pro can be proposed by all IAF members. There is still time to propose special sessions. And deadline is 9th of February. So run and submit your proposal for special sessions as well. And special sessions are about multidisciplinary topics and they have innovative format and, and uh, can be, as I told you, uh, proposed by anyone. And also we have GTS, so global technical sessions. There are five global technical sessions. They are essentially technical sessions, but they are both on site and online. So you have the possibility also to attend and present online. Uh, GTS are jointly organized by technical committees and the Workforce Development Young Professional Program Committee of the International Astronautical Federation. And they cover five different topics, uh, including space communication navigation, student team competition. We have a session on entrepreneurship. We have a session on small satellite and another one on human space flight. So there is really space for all to attend and participate to, to the IC. For the next slide, I would just uh, give the ball to Annie. Annie, can you hear us? Thanks so much, Alfonso, and thank you, Anna Maria and Giovanni. It was fantastic to hear about your sessions in more detail. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit about oral and interactive presentations. This is a question that I get asked a lot, and I imagine many people watching are a bit confused if they've never done it before about the difference between them. So um, when you submit your abstract, you can select uh, to preference an oral presentation or an interactive presentation, or you can say that you don't mind. And um, you've heard already that there's you know, different papers selected for each. So I'll start with what the oral presentation is. Um, so generally this is what you might be used to from a conference. So there'll be authors who will stand up in front of the room and they present their work, um, usually with a PowerPoint presentation, to the audience in a very short lecture. So something like 10 minutes, maybe 15, depending on the session. And there's often a time for one or two questions at the end um, of that. So it's a, a very much, you know, stand up and present your research to a group who are sitting in chairs watching you. And there are uh, uh, chair people and they moderate the session. And um, it's always very interesting because they will bring questions together um, and sometimes at the end, there'll be time for a conversation and questions between the people who were presenting in that. Session. So it's, it's a really interesting thing to do. Um, and generally with these, um, if you like get selected for an oral presentation, then it will, you'll be told in your notification letter, you've been selected for an oral presentation. And then from there, what you need to prepare is a full paper, and that's due um, at the end of September if you are selected. So that is a full paper that is essentially ready for publication. So very, um, you know, it needs to be in good quality, and also a PowerPoint presentation that you will present with, which has some points, some images, whatever it is that you need to make your points. So on the next slide, Alfonso, I'll talk to the um, interactive format. Um, so an interactive presentation might be something you're not as used to, but it's really interesting to think about differently because it gives um, a presenter a chance to present your work in a visual format and have opportunities for interaction and discussion. You might be familiar with a poster session format at various conferences. This is like a poster session, but way better because you get to have a um, a presentation that is visual, but also unlike a poster, which just kind of sits there and you talk about it, um, this is a, a proper presentation and we use special software to create that interactive presentation. Um, the format of the sessions is quite flexible. So uh, normally there is uh, a presentation slot, which is about 10 minutes and you book the slot that you want to present in and then the format can be whatever you would like it to be. So um, generally the author introduces their presentation and then it's more of a discussion. 
And I think this is really useful if you are someone who's doing some research that is, I guess, emerging or you're really looking for that engagement and feedback. Um, although the oral presentation might be more traditional, this is a great way of engaging with a broader group and getting to hear feedback as you go and talk about your research with experts in the field. So um, I very much urge you to consider it. It is um, a equal level of um, prestige and everything with the oral presentations. But I think the way to think about it is, is different and it achieves something different um, and it can achieve more in a way. And you can see in the pictures down at the bottom, like there are people coming all the way around watching each of the presentations and, um, and moving around and discussing. So it's a very live and very stimulating environment. Um, the other thing is that the best interactive presentations get an award and um, there's a dedicated ceremony at IAC. So there's, um, if you are someone who is creative and who can create something interesting, then there is, um, I suppose, an extra incentive for applying for the interactive presentation slot. The final thing is, of course, just like the oral presentation, you must submit a full paper. And then instead of a PowerPoint presentation, you're creating your interactive presentation online using the special software and preparing that ready to submit. So um, very much the same obligations across both formats um, and just a slightly different mode of delivery. Thanks. I'll hand back to you, Alfonso. Thank you. Thank you very much, Annie, for, for this. I have to say that in the past, I actually attended, of course, IP sessions. I presented IP uh, presentation myself, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, okay. So let's uh, go to guidelines for writing successful IC abstract. Uh, so as you know, the deadline for submitting an abstract for the next ISC would be end of February, so 28th of February. Um, the abstract essentially is a text of maximum 400 words, so it's a relatively short text. And uh, writing an abstract in, a, in, a, in a such a small um, format, it's not easy. Because as we said earlier, uh, the abstract are reviewed by experts of the technical committees. So your abstract will be really evaluated by technical committee experts uh, focusing on the topic you, you, you wish to, to, to present. And um, well, of course, my suggestion is to uh, try to be uh, as effective as you can, uh, focusing on the important aspects of your research. Uh, the most important thing is highlighting the novelties and the importance of your research. And um, so this is just a draft of the structure of how the, page, the abstract should look like. So first, you should briefly describe the aims and purpose of your research, the methods, the main results you obtain, and the conclusions and their marks. Keywords, of course, are optional, but the, the, the point is um, focus really on the problem and method. So, of course, uh, whenever you need to uh, demonstrate that your research is novel enough to be worth of a, a, a presentation at ISC, you need to either demonstrate that you, that you are focusing on, on a new problem and a new method, or you can demonstrate that you are solving a uh, new problem with old methods or vice versa. So old problem with new method, but focus on the, the novelties. Um, people are usually asking, uh, where do I put my references in the abstract? Well, don't do it. 400 words are so short, so don't use words to give uh, reference uh, to other works and, and uh, just focus on, on your own research, uh, you will have the chance to, to give the full reference list in the full paper that is expected to be submitted uh, in September 2024. Um, this is my suggestion for writing abstract. Of course, if any, or Professor Palmerini, Dr. Nassisi, they have any uh, further 
uh, guidelines or suggestions, feel free to 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 interrupt me and 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 give your suggestions. Probably, Alfonso, if uh, if I can, a kind of uh, let's say insider's uh, suggestion is that uh, uh, every proposer, every abstract author, should be very uh, careful in uh, correctly indicating uh, the session, correcting se select the session and the symposia he or she is interested in. Because, you know, uh, uh, we, we already said that uh, sessions are uh, uh, well, well bound. And indeed, if, uh, if the abstract is uh, between many of them or uh, not correctly addressed, it, there is the risk to fall in, a, let's say, nobody's land when it will be more difficult to appreciate the value of the abstract. And uh, on the other side, if you look at the abstract reading from experts, it is clearly a positive point if the authors have the ability and the capability to correctly select, to correctly address the topic of interest. So please be extremely careful in selecting the right symposia and the right session for your abstract in order to maximize the chance for a, a good evaluation and appreciation and then acceptance. Thanks, Alfonso. Uh, Alfonso, if I can add uh, that uh, the, what said by Giovanni is uh, very important uh, because uh, also during uh, the paper selection, a lot of time uh, we are obliged that if uh, we consider a good, with a good evaluation uh, the abstract uh, to address in other uh, session. So uh, it's better that uh, read uh, carefully uh, which is uh, the objective of each uh, session in order uh, to be in line with uh, what is uh, being requested. And uh, in particular for Afro preservation, you have, uh, as I mentioned later, you have uh, the opportunity to um, cover a multidisciplinary approach you have a very wide uh, possibility to submit uh, your paper uh, by taking into account uh, all uh, the aspects at the system level application, but also at uh, uh, level of uh, benefit uh, coming uh, from uh, the air observation system for society, for disaster management, and so on. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very helpful indeed, I think, for others. And um, yeah, choosing the right uh, topic is uh, so important. And uh, this is because, of course, experts of different topics will be revising the paper. So if uh, somehow your paper is not fitting that topic, you have higher um, rejection rate. Of course. So select your topic is, is relatively, is very important. And uh, we have um, a question on the chat saying, uh, what is the maximum number of authors of each research paper? I have two colleagues I would like to cooperate with. Would it be possible? Of course it is. Um, so, uh, of course, you may have as much uh, co-authors you like, as many co-authors you like. The important thing is that everyone, of course, is contributing somehow in the research. Um, of course, anyway, the ownership of the abstract will remain of the main author, so the, 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 the submitting author. And you will have the chance to, during the submission to select the main author, which is the corresponding author, and also the presenter, uh, who is the one supposed to present the work, either in oral or interactive presentation uh, form. So anyway, you may have uh, any, as many authors you, you like, but of course, anyone should be contributing to the research. Okay, so here we have some uh, technicalities uh, about uh, abstract submission. As we said, submission deadline is 28th of February, and uh, this is a quite hard deadline, so be sure to submit your abstract as soon as possible. We already received a very good number of abstracts, uh, 
uh, that will be uh, reviewing uh, that we will be reviewing during during the spring meetings in March uh, in Paris. Um, after you submit the abstract, uh, you will be notified by acceptance approximately in in uh, in April, and then you will be allowed to prepare the full paper. Full paper is mandatory for all abstracts. And um, uh, you will be asked to submit a draft version of your paper by the end of September and upload the final paper uh, for the for the, 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 the for the IAC uh, in Milan. And uh, you will be requested to publish the full paper by the last day of the conference when the proceedings will be finally uh, published for, for everyone in the in the in the final form. Uh, we already discussed about the format of the abstracts. Um, be sure to define a very clear title. You will have 400 uh, word text, and this is done directly on, on the website. Uh, it is not possible to include tables or pictures in abstract or citation. And uh, it is very important, as also Professor Palmerini and Dr. Nassisi said, to get familiar with the list of topics because it is very important to select the proper topic during the submission. And you can find uh, the full list of symposia and technical sessions in the link here um, that you can see here. And my suggestion is study the topics. For each topic, you have a description, a peer description, and identify your best uh, topic. So you can be sure that the, the, the abstract will be selected by uh, the right people, the right technicians. To submit an abstract successfully, you need to follow these five steps, essentially. So one, once you're sure uh, to have uh, the, the, the right symposium and the technical session of your interest, you can select the technical session then you write the abstract title and text. And then point number C, this is very important. You will be asked to select either you want to uh, present oral or interactive format. Or you can even select both. Uh, this is uh, not um, a definitive, let's say, selection in the sense that um, the committee may choose to, to move your abstract from oral to interactive and propose you to make it interactive depending on uh, the topic or vice versa. So don't, don't be uh, afraid that uh, chances will not change if you, if you select oral or interactive. Um, point D, you will submit your abstract and point E, very important, you can edit your uh, abstract until the deadline, which is 28th of February. So my suggestion is uh, work on your abstract, be sure to submit uh, your abstract um, as soon as you can, so do not wait the last day. And if you have uh, last minute modifications, you can still do it up to the deadline. Of course, if you have any questions, you can contact also the support mailbox of IF Astro. Uh, maybe uh, Do we have uh, questions in the chat? Yeah, maybe uh, Andy, you want to add something about uh, submissions? Sure, yes. Maybe um, there was a question. Um, oh, hang on, I'm getting a reverb, sorry. Uh, there was a question in the chat on YouTube that was, um, Good morning. I would like to ask if it's possible to submit an abstract to different symposia. Thanks. Um, assuming what you mean here is uh, like, can you submit the same abstract to multiple sessions? The answer is no. So you cannot submit a duplicate abstract. Um, you So for example, if you have an abstract um, on something to do with uh, human spaceflight, there are lots of sessions on human spaceflight, but you have to pick one to submit that to. Um, however, if you wanted to submit two different abstracts to multiple different symposia, then that is okay. So the rule is 
um, do not submit the same abstract twice, but you can submit more than one abstract so long as those abstracts are unique. Um, I think that uh, covers that. But, um, the other thing to note is that if you are registered to the IAC, you're covered for a maximum of three papers. So uh, the limit, I guess, would be three abstract submissions, assuming that all of them might get selected. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Yes, that's that's very uh, important. So some other questions you may have here. We have a list of uh, frequent frequent questions. Uh, yeah, first one is very important, uh, and we will be quite um, strict on this. So we will apply a policy of no podium, no paper. So uh, as we said at the beginning. Uh, this year, we have a digital object identifier, a new IA code for each paper, which means that um, many would be wishing to publish on proceedings of the ISC. And this is uh, uh, what we will apply. So if you will not uh, uh, present your paper at ISC, uh, your paper will not be published in the proceedings. So you will not have a new A, and you will not, you will not have the chance to be selected for, for final publications in Act Astronautica. So no podium, no paper, don't forget. So if you uh, register and you submit three different abstracts, as uh, Annie said, it is possible, but you will be coming to, the, to Milan to present the three different papers to get them published. Uh, Make sure to select your best format, so oral or interactive. Uh, it, of course, it depends on, on topic and, and, and the message you want to deliver. Uh, make others, we already discussed about the possibility uh, of having multiple authors, but main author would be one, would be the submitting author, and be sure to have a valid and durable email address. This is very important because after the submission, the IF and IPC will communicate with you, will send communication through the main address you present, you declare in the submission phase. So be sure that you're using a, a, a stable email address. And uh, it will be your uh, responsibility as a main author to coordinate with all the other co-authors. So you will communicate with all other co-authors about the notification of thanks, acceptance, rejection, or uh, of any other communication from IF and IPC. Very important, do not wait until the last minute to, to start preparing your abstract. Preparing abstract is a serious uh, uh, thing, and you need to, uh, to work a lot on this and, and be sure to, to submit your abstract as soon as possible, way before the deadline. Tips for the future. Uh, first one, of course, is for, for the um, less experienced authors, of course. Uh, writing a clear and con concise abstract is a must. Uh, it's something that you cannot learn in, in one week, two weeks, one month, in something that requires experience. So keep writing uh, about your research, and, 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 and that will, will improve your way of writing abstracts, of course. Um, try to use different approaches. My suggestion is go on IF website, download the previous year proceedings, and read all the abstracts you can. Uh, of course, the, the best way to improve your writing skills is reading uh, about your own uh, research topics. You will learn a lot. If, anyway, your abstract will not be selected, don't give up. Uh, unfortunately, as you, as, you, as you saw, we have quite high rejection rate uh, because quality is very high, uh, abstract scanning will be very, very high, but don't be afraid of this. We have so many other opportunities. One is uh, the AMP, the IF Abstract Mentor Program, uh, that uh, it's a very successful initiative of the IF. Uh, that will optimize the chances and the opportunity to get accepted 
this year on the next years, uh, I assume the next years. So be sure to attend the, the AMP sessions and, and, and the, the tennis program. There is also another opportunity, uh, which is the late breaking abstract, NBA. Uh, this is a new call for abstract that will open in May 2024. Uh, so you will have the chance to submit again your uh, abstract if in the meanwhile, for example, you have new results or you have new breaking uh, data to, to, uh, to share with the community. Uh, so LBA are really about new research that is not available uh, in February before the deadline, the official deadline, and will be available in, in uh, by May 2024. So if you have any new results, any uh, new problem to discuss with the community in that uh, time window, uh, not forget that you have the opportunity to, to attend. The LBA abstract uh, proposals. And um, there is also another, uh, actually, another uh, opportunity for you all. We will host in Milan also the UNIF uh, workshop uh, organized by IF, of course, and UNOSA. Uh, that will be accompanied by an abstract call, and uh, we will have some funding opportunities. So the UNIF workshop is really about uh, emerging space ecosystems, emerging countries, and focus on topics of category E. Category E, I remind you, is uh, anything related to social aspects of, of space activities. So we will have some funding opportunities and we will have the chance in this workshop to have something like 150 um, opportunities. Uh, so, uh, kind of scholarships for, for anyone who wants to attend the workshop. And uh, we will have uh, more details after um, uh, a meeting we will have in Vienna, the IF will have in Vienna with UNOSA next week. So, be prepared that in, uh, in one or two weeks, uh, we will communicate these new opportunities by mass mailing or through our social media. Uh, so about this UN, UN IF workshop and, and uh, the further the new uh, funding opportunities. So I think this is all from, from, from my side. I will just have a look in case there are any questions on YouTube channel. Um, but I think there are no other uh, Questions, uh, it was a pleasure from my side to attend this webinar and moderate this webinar. If you have any questions offline, you can just send an email to support at ifastro.org. And uh, I would just thank our um, speakers, uh, Professor Palmerini, Dr. Narcissi, thank you very much uh, for your bright discussions and for your presentations and for providing such useful tips. And uh, thank you for the work you do for the technical committees, for selecting the best abstract and preparing every year the best technical program for, for the IC. I'm really uh, proud of this. And um, I think that's all from my side. Any for uh, Giovanni and Maria, if you wanna just leave a few closing remarks and thank you very much, feel free. Ana Maria, please. Uh, thank you very much to all. And uh, we wait for uh, your uh, abstract. And uh, don't yeah. forget uh, also uh, to create a relationship with uh, sustainability that is uh, very important uh, for uh, the Afro observation uh, together with uh, climate change. Thank so. you. <laughs> very helpful. Thank you. Giovanni. Yeah. Yep. From my side, thanks, Alfonso. Thanks, Annie. And thanks, of course, to the IAF uh, organization. And uh, we'll wait for your abstracts. So see you in Milan in order to increase our common knowledge and also increase your uh, experience with this international forum. Thanks a lot.
Thank you. I would just say thank you very much for attending. And if you're watching this later, thank you for watching it. And um, I'd just like to encourage you to have a go. Um, even if you're not sure, hopefully this has um, increased your confidence in submitting an abstract. And um, there's no issue with just having a try and seeing what happens. So um, we, yeah, I like the others. I look forward to seeing your abstracts when they come in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Annie. Thank you, Stefan and Miriam, for, for preparing all this and uh, meet you all in Milan.